What if I told you that it is possible to control your ATAM Mini, your vMix system, maybe if you have one, an audio mixer as well, all with the press of one button on your Stream Deck. How cool would that be? Well, it would be really cool, right? Well, that's where companion software comes into play. And this video is really a bit of an introductionary video on the power of companion software. So let's get started. But before you can start using the power of Companion, you need to download it first. So you can download it at the BitFocus.io website that you can see right here on your screen. And this is where you can see the Companion software, which is currently on version 2.1 as of this video. Um, if you want to know more about this software, you can actually go to this uh, page right here. This is where you see some key features which are really important. A few of them are actually really the ones that made me switch to Companion. And those are the stacked actions. So that means that you can actually stack multiple actions on one single button. You can also add delayed actions as well. So maybe you need some delay for, for example, for a stinger effect that is possible right here. Of course, you will have multiple devices that a companion can work with. And it is a full plethora of different uh, components. Here you have the modules that they have at the moment, and it goes on forever and ever and ever. And it really incorporates Blackmagic products, uh, Midas or Behringer uh, products, um, vMix is in there. Uh, a lot of different uh, tools are here as well. My key lights, my own lights are here as well. So you can imagine it is quite a impressive uh, setup there as well. Uh, what I also like is that it allows me to control the device, not only on the Stream Deck, but wherever I am in the world, which is really cool. Um, that is also possible with Companion. So all you need to do is to download it and you can download it on a Windows computer, a Mac computer, and a Linux computer. And in this particular instance, I've actually chosen to install it on my Windows computer, the same computer that I'm using for this vMix instance right in front of me. So let's go ahead and show you what it looks like. Okay, so once you have downloaded and installed the BitFocus Companion software, you can start it up like any other program and you will be greeted with this uh, setup. Now, if you look at it, you'll see that uh, the graphical user interface, change network interface has been selected. So I always go to the wired one that incorporates also the full uh, IP address, just because it really is more nice like that. And I always make sure that the minimized is set like there as well. Once you've done that, you can hit launch graphical user interface. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see here that I've already pre-filled a little bit just to save some time. Um, what I've done is that I've already connected to my vMix uh, switcher software that you're looking at, by the way, at the moment. And I also have connected the ATEM switcher. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like. So, for example, the vMix, if I click on edit right here, uh, you'll see that I'm pointing towards the 127001 IP address, which is this computer or the, the same computer that vMix is running on. So that makes it very easy. Um, the label can be changed to whatever I like. If I would like to change it to vMix uh, Tecano, that is definitely possible. But uh, I, let's keep it just a simple vMix. And here you will also see a lot of different variables. These variables can become very handy to uh, not have to change the, 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 the labels, for example, every time you change something in um, your ATEM switcher or your vMix switcher, this will definitely help you to make sure that it's all read into uh, the companion software, and therefore it's also been displayed on your Stream Deck. Hit Apply Changes to uh, make sure that uh, it has been saved and make sure that the status is OK, because only if it states OK, you have a connection. Well, the same thing I did with the Atom Switcher, which is the Atom Mini Pro, which is on my demo desk, which is really cool that I can use that. And uh, this is a little bit different because, of course, this does have a real IP address. It actually ends with 174, as you can see right there. 
It's actually a 8M Mini Pro uh, model. So I actually have selected that here because that will also allow me to minimize or maximize the, the functionality that uh, you will get from Companion. And it's not so nice to have that you see more than you can actually use for your device. So that is why, why I did that. And once you hit apply changes, it will also be there. And of course, also that one has dynamic variables. For example, if you, for example, change camera one to something meaningful like uh, um, uh, main or, um, or, or a demo or something, you will see that coming back in the variables. Well, let's go back to the instances. I'll also show you that it's possible to add by manufacturer. For example, I want to add something from by Blackmagic Design, but I do not know what it is. It literally, for example, I want to add the Blackmagic uh, Video Hub, which I will definitely have this year. So if you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Uh, but uh, that's a possibility. And of course you can also use it, utilize by a category like camera or cinema or clocks, whatever that is also a possibility. It's also really easy. If you know what you're looking for to just, just search for it. For example, I want to add a vMix instance. You can have multiple vMix instances if you like, and you click add and boom, you have your second instance right there. You can change it to something more meaningful, like for example, uh, VMix uh, second um, branding. What I mean by that is that uh, sometimes I uh, am streaming to multiple local uh, radio and television stations, and because I'm going to local television stations, they all want to have their own branding. So I can actually have multiple VMixes running the same video, but with different uh, branding. So that is a way that we can uh, make that happen. That is a possibility. So we can add it like so, and boom, you have that as well. I'm not going to use that, so I'm going to delete it. And that's the way how easy it is to delete it. Now I already created some buttons, so I'm going to show you those buttons that I have created right here. Uh, these buttons are also available on the stream deck. So, that, so yeah, they're corresponding with that very nicely. And uh, I've already created a few. So the, the first one is this one is called main. Uh, I've added, well, I've color coded the buttons to make sure that I understand what kind of application it is. Green means vMix, in my opinion. Uh, purple means a mixture of vmix and something else. Uh, uh, yellow, orange-ish between is the atom switcher, and red is also the atom switcher, but that's more aimed towards the aux buses. So let's start about the main. So to, to show you this one. So for example, this main has a text main, main camera, of course, and I've added the background color right here. I also added the action called vmix transition send input to program and i've added the input name called bd main which is the first uh camera that i'm using and it's actually the camera that you're looking at as well um, and the mix is set to one which is totally fine with me um, and that's it that's that's basically what i've done there and it works like a charm so if i press that button it will automatically show you uh that uh, that camera so let's do that. Boom, right there, you have it. You have the camera. I just pressed the Stream Deck and that's all it took to do that. Now, but I also want to add the possibility to switch towards my Atom Switcher. Now the Atom Switcher is coming in via an NDI source, which is uh, the second source on my uh, vMix. So it's actually literally input to in vMix. So the way that I do that is that I can go into uh, this button right here, this black one right here, click on it and say set button type, go to regular button, and then I want to give it a meaningful name. So it's actually a meaningful name would be demo uh, desk because it's literally my demo desk. As you can see, it starts with a black backdrop. I don't really like that. I want it to be clear that it's really vmix so i'll just add a color green right here and that color green then corresponds with that this is a vmix uh, action 
the action that I want to uh, do is the same that I did for uh, the main one. And I want to push input to to a program. Now, the way that I do that is click add key on action. And I want to do that not with the ATEM Mini Pro, but with vMix. So I'm going to uh, either search for vMix and check that out. Or I can do something else. I can also just uh, search for program. But in this case, I already see it. Transition send input to program. So I'm going to click that. And what I want to do is I want to uh, make sure that input two goes to program. Again, input two is the ATEM Mini in the demo desk. And that's basically it. Done. So that's all I need to do right here. And basically, that's that that that's basically what I can do. So let's start to test that. So what I'll do now is that I will make sure that you will see my screen. Uh, no, that doesn't make, that does make sense. So I'll just go to this one. So this is the main main camera is literally on. And if I press demo desk, this is the demo desk right here. And I press main again. And we'll be on back at main. So that is how easy it is to add that right there. Now, I have to admit that it can be more specific and even a bit more challenging. And that's where those purple ones come into play right here. Uh, let me uh, make sure that you have a bit better, bigger screen. So let's go ahead. There you go. And if I click on the string demo, that means I have a stinger that goes to the uh, demo desk or the other button is a stinger to the vMix desk. And in this case, the stinger to the demo desk does a few things, as you can see, at least four things. The first thing that it does is that it, it adds a overlay. Um, so that's, that is like a lower third, for example. But in this case, it's not lower third, but it is the stinger. Uh, because I'm going to add the stinger on the transition overlay one, which is basically what I can show you here in vMix. There you go. What I have here is a stinger input right here, as this one right here. So this is my stinger. And that that's the name also of it. And I'm going to put that on overlay one. So that is the way that that part works. Next, I want to make sure that camera one is on the, well, is active. I always want to go to this camera, this one right here. That is the one that I want to go to. I just want to avoid having a different one. So that is the reason why I did that one. Then I want to transition uh, number two so I want to go to number two, uh, which is, of course, the demo desk camera. But I want to do that with a, a few milliseconds of delay. That delay is very important because that delay will allow me to uh, be right at the, at, at, uh, at the time that the stinger is full screen uh, so that you don't see when I switch to the other camera. And then once that is done, I also need to make sure that it's off. So, because otherwise the overlay will re remain on and that's not a way, it's not a nice way to do it. Well, how does that look like? Well, let, let's show that. So I am now going to press stinger to demo. So if I click on that, boom, you're there. If I press again, stinger to vMix, we're going back to this one. And that is how easy it is to go back and forth between the two. And that is all done with just a few mouse buttons. There you go. This is what it looks like. Of course, I can also do that for the ATEM switcher. So I'm going to add one more here as well. And that is to add the uh, media player on the ATEM switcher. So let's set the button type right here. Regular button. Uh, it's called media player because that is what uh, it stands for within um, the Atom Switcher. The background is uh, yellowish because yeah, that's the way that I have done that and I then know what it is. And it's not a vMix setup. No, 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 no. It's an Atom Mini Pro setup. And actually, it is a setup 
a set input to program and well you can only have one me here but i can actually go into this list and search for media player one click on that and that's basically it and now if i press that media player one button it will automatically show me that setup okay let's move on to the end in this video you have learned how you can use companion software to switch between vmix and your a10 mini and also with a very nice stinger effect if you like that as well so basically it got you started but there will be more companion software coming uh, towards you this year in 2022 so if you like this kind of content please go ahead and subscribe to this channel to get notified for future content and i hope to see you next time bye bye